Mars doesn't have any oceans, but it does have a sea level. Kind of. I'm Alexander Wynn, and this is Slice of Science. If there's one thing everyone knows about Mars, it's that it's dry. Pick any day on Mars in the last million or so years, and if there was any liquid water on the surface at all, it probably wasn't enough to fill a swimming pool, let alone an ocean. But on Earth, whenever we want to talk about the elevation of a city or a mountain or an airplane in the sky, we almost always do it in relation to the sea level of Earth. That's because the sea level is, more or less, the same across the entire planet, so it gives us a consistent standard we can all measure by. So how do scientists compare elevation on Mars without a common sea level? Well, when Mariner 9 launched in 1971, scientists at NASA basically made one up. They picked an altitude at which the Martian atmosphere was just thick enough to support liquid water, and they called that the aerioid, also known as zero elevation, so they could measure everything else relative to that. And measuring elevation is very important when you're landing rockets on another planet, because if you get the elevation measurements wrong, you, you know, crash. That system worked for 30 years, until in 2001, the Mars Orbiter satellite gave us a super precise measurement of something called the equipotential surface, based on Mars's gravity and radius and rotation and a bunch of other sciencey stuff. Ever since then, that equipotential surface has been the scientifically accepted sea level of Mars. 